All right, so these are the buttons that came out of the uh, Ray called Dana 1991 fruit counter. So I thought I'd do a little autopsy and find out what actually goes wrong with them. So as soon as I've got plenty here, if I break one, it doesn't matter. I'll just get another one. Anyway, um, let's try and get one of these things apart. Choose a certain implement and see what we can do to get into this without damaging it. I don't. I try not to damage it to get it apart because I want to actually understand how these switches work and why they fail. Because that's a big question. I've, I've been asked several times about from people, you know, what makes them fail, and that's a really good question because I really don't know. So let's just see if I can actually get into one of these. I mean, I did it before, but it was not very good don't think it's going to work like that let's try like this instead shall we like I said if it breaks it doesn't really matter that much but I'm trying to keep it at least kind of intact right so that part. There's the insides, which has some bits inside there. See that little post in the middle? I suppose you can call this an autopsy. <laughs> Seems they're dead. I suppose it's quite an accurate thing. So, what's this here? There's a little piece of plastic, little ring. Let's try and get this in camera shot that the thing falling over. So it's a little ring, there's the button there. And inside here is there's a little post inside there. Which appears to be fixed. Okay, so the other one I pulled apart, the post wasn't in there, it was in the other half. Okay. So this is a rubbery compound. It isn't that soft, it's fairly hard. Let's take that out. So what I think is this little ring there. I wonder what the significance of that ring is. So let's try and get this. So there's the ring. Come on, focus. Let's try and get the light on it. There we go, you can see it's got like a groove in it. So it's got a centre ring around the inside. There we go, so you can see a little ring around the inside there. And it's this little rubber piece here. So my suspicion is that this piece of rubber here is actually supposed to be conductive. Because there's no signs of any other kind of switch mechanism in there. Torch try and get some even more light in there. Oh, that's not right. Here we go. Too much leaning forward. Hold on. Let's try and sort this out. Uh, disaster! Disaster! All right. Let's get a leg, out, leg going out the front of the camera. Hopefully, it'll start falling over. Okay. So let's get that there, hopefully try and shine in there. You can see the contacts. Can I get closer? Alright, so there's all the contacts in there. So as far as that side, there's not really much happening. Alright, it's just flat contacts. And all there is, it's just rubber ring here. Alright. like so. So I believe this is supposed to be conductive. Let's have a look. Does it conduct? Well, kind of. 
that's measuring 180 odd ohms, uh, sorry, 180 odd K. And it's changing a little bit. Let's try this side. That's mega ohms. Try that close together. 500 K. Yes, it's not. It's not as conductive as it used to be. So it looks like what's happened with these switches is the is the actual. This is the conductive rubber, right? So plastics can be made to be conductive. Let's put in the adjectives in there, and they'll do it. But this is it's quite a stiff rubber, and it's um, it's not conductive enough anymore. It is partially conductive, but not good enough. Um, so I think it's a deterioration of the plastic. And as to why it doesn't have the um, original pressing action, I'm not sure. Um, well maybe that's supposed to fold over. No, it's supposed to fold in. I mean, that's actually that's actually breaking off there. Yeah, it's getting brittle. All right, that's actually breaking off. So maybe what it's based upon is this little inner ring here flexing, because there was this little piece here which I found, remember? which fell out of the switch this little ring there like that so I think that is around it's supposed to be around the inside edge of that which impresses against that little pillar inside that switch and that's what gives that momentary action but it's flexing over is what holds it up so um, yeah so it's a deterioration of the rubber rubber piece inside there I think that it's all it is okay um, she turns back on again now I've taken that rubbish piece out and this is see if I can get any kind of life out of this switch I'll be extremely surprised if that happens Okay, so nothing right now. I'm trying and get it to sit nicely so I can test it. Okay, well, I should put these clip leads ready, but anyway. Okay, that's on there. So I'm pushing the switch, and it's just nothing there. Do resistance. Yeah, it's showing mega ohms resistance. The harder I push, the lot more is coming down. That's in the kilo ohms now, it's about 300k, and I'm pushing pretty hard. Alright, so that's all it is. This is why I fail. That rubber membrane inside um, stops working, and um, they fail to conduct. Obviously, the. Uh, Let's see membrane just changes properties as it ages, and. Uh, Ceases conducting. Let's pop another one out. There we go. This one should be exactly the same. Okay. And this one's got a slightly different setup, actually. This one, the pin is in within the rubber, right? The pin is within the rubber. I'm just pushed it and it's coming out now. Right, push through there. And there's that little piece there. Right, so there's this little pin just there. It's not actually a pin. This one doesn't have the same internals, which is interesting. Um, same deal though. This one looks slightly different, that's weird. It's almost like this one's been messed with before and it's got bits missing. Because the pin wasn't really there. It's got the same issue there, the little ring. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's put another one apart. Okay. So this one basically pulled straight off without flexing it too much. There's the rubber membrane. There's a the little pin piece just there, sitting in there. So I'm not sure what the significance is of that piece there. Because there's actually a hole on the opposite side. Is that a piece of rubber? I don't think so. 
don't know. Yeah, so anyway, these this there's so little to them. It all seems to be based around this remember this rubber piece um aging and failing to conduct and going rigid and brittle. So um yeah, I mean there's nothing you can do about that. If, you know, when the plastic ages like this, um, it's probably just changed, and that's the end of it, pretty much. You can't really get it back. Um, and I'm crushing that, and it's splitting. All right, there you go. See, it's just broken. And there is a effectively a cross section of it, which may be helpful. All right, I'm trying to get this to focus. Get the light on it too, it's always a trouble. Right, so you might be a city cross section. Let's get a torch. Go on, on there. I'm trying to get the light on it right so you can see it. You might be able to see it's like a cone shape in the centre. So yeah, anyway, there's nothing really that can be done. I think it's just that rubber and that's the end of it. So, anyway, for those who wanted to know how they work and what fails on them, well, I think that's the best I can do to answer that question. And uh, so here's a bunch of switches for the scrap. And, you know, these are no good for anything. Um, no, they're just, that's it. Gone burger. Right, so, hope it's interesting. Uh, all the usual stuff, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that lot. Catch you later.